But if you have a group, so I, I, I paired myself with like real estate investors, um, you know, realtors that were doing first time home buyers. So we we created like um, every day. It was like, a, uh, you know, it was a group of us. We all had our um, our niche. I'm credit. We had a realtor. We had a mortgage broker. We had a, a lawyer. We had everyone that can answer questions to those in the audience. So we built that. We did that from 11 to one o'clock every single day, Monday through Friday. That's how we build our community, right? So now it, we built this consistency of people coming over and they were, we, they listened to us talk and we answered questions. You can use Go Brunch to maybe do like an introduction about your product that you want to sell. Use Go Brunch to meet up, right? Register and meet up to learn about this product and you can do a presentation. And then right. towards the end, you can then sell them um, the product. Maybe put like an affiliate program with the title company where they can make commission off of each sale. So that way you're not the only one selling it, but you have other people boots on the ground selling your product as well for a commission. So I'm not okay. sure what your, what your pricing is and if there is, um, you know, room to, you know, create that type of profit margin. Um, but I would say work on that. And then I would say try to target people that have that audience or that customer base that you're looking for. Yeah. OK. I mean, I'm, I've am i been working on it for 15 months and I just basically got it finished about two weeks ago and launched. So okay, um, it's, I'm in the beginning stages right now. And I've been kind of targeting that. I what you've been said, like title companies, mortgage people. Mm -hmm. um, but our product is more targeted to folks that have equity in their home because that's who get targeted for deed fraud. For instance, if you go on Clubhouse and because you you um you have your product you want to go into real estate rooms right and they talk blockchains and nfts and 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 crypto all day on the app so if you go into those type of rooms where it's all related and then you talk about what you have to offer one of them will eventually say hey let's host a room especially i do real estate i'm a realtor let's host a room and let's talk about your product and let's get people to, you know, to buy into your product. Like it's an opportunity for you to sell on stage to talk about your product. But you want to be with, um, um, I don't want to say influencer, but you want to be on there with a an influencer, a clubhouse influencer that hosts these rooms daily or occasionally and pair up with them. Let them know what your product is and they'll open up a room for you to do and you can talk about it. So you build your following when you educate people, not sell, educate. And it, this is going to be one of the biggest asset. Community building is going to be one of the biggest assets. This is what people are looking for right now. And this, we live in a lone, in a lonely era with social media and everyone for self. You know, everyone is so self-absorbed. Everything is about self and the me, me, me instead of we, we, we. You know, if we start building a community about we instead of just I, they're going to gravitate towards that because they are yearning for that. So if you create that space, you'll be surprised how big your community is. I met her through Clubhouse and that's how I learned about her group. Um, she was in a real estate, um, she was in a real estate uh, um, room and I think they were talking about community building and she talked about her community and how she built this in the pan during the pandemic. Um, so yeah, she's at 245,000 members. And she she built this during the pandemic. So she created not only, um, you know, she doesn't only have like the Facebook group, but she actually does summits like she used that opportunity to um, monetize. She monetizing off the audience that she have. Imagine if you have two hundred forty five thousand members coming to you. You know, I want to say come to you because she provided a space for black women who love outdoor living. She curated a space. But um if you if you if you see that the group is very engaging, people are interacting with one another, they're answering questions, they're posting, the engagement is big big big. You don't want to go into a room or I would say go into a club or a a, a group that have no engagement because you can post on there and it's just like a billboard and whoever sees it sees it. But if it's if it's engaging, many, many people will see it. Right. And and if you direct, you can actually direct them to your group. This is a way that you can grow your community. You ever heard 
the term other people's money. Okay, you use other people's money instead of you can preserve your funds. You can use other people's money to grow and scale your business. But there is such thing as leveraging other people's audience, OPA, leveraging other people's audience. Okay, if someone already took the time to build an audience, join their network, join their community, provide and, and contribute. You can start off by contributing. They love that because guess what? That's what social media is all about is engaging. So if you're contributing, you're engaging and they'll appreciate that because now you took a workload out of them, you know, because managing a community is not easy. But if you're contributing and is, is, is aligning with the mission of the of, of the group, now they're recognizing you and then you can start, you can, you know, reach out to them and say, hey, this is what I can provide. This is what I can contribute. You may become one of the admins. You may become one of the moderators. So if you want to go that route, you can do that and drive people to your community. That's another way to build using other people's time. That's another OPT, other people's time. Um, what's it? Uh, other people's audience, other people's time, other people's um, resources. Right. So you don't have to do everything yourself. Just leverage other people. And, and, and it pretty much speeds up the process. That's the cheat code. OK, that's the cheat code. So when when I'm on Clubhouse, I'm utilizing other people's audience and they're also utilizing my audience and always have a call to action. Your call to action should be send them to an email list, send them to a free ebook to download. You want to grab people's emails, phone numbers, because once you're off the air, how else are you going to get in contact with those people that saw you? you need to collect their name and email address. That is golden. Because if you're not doing that and you're buying leads, you can pay anywhere from like 50 cents to $50 for one lead. So no, leverage other people's audience that already took the time to build the like, know, and trust. They're trusting you to, to, to be in their space and, and grab some of their audience. That's how a lot of people are growing their audience, their, their space. So do that. Now, um, let me show you my community. I have 178 people that say they want to manage their finances. I need to get a class going right away, right? Um, and then so forth, so forth. And 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 what I also love about what Facebook has added is a chat feature, community chat. So in you know, members can actually go and start a chat with each other. You know, everyone's on Messenger. And that's a great way. A lot of people don't have their notification on on Facebook. But what I also love about Facebook is that when you post something, you can put at everyone and everybody in your in your in your group or in your in your yeah in your group would get the notification because you at everyone. So that's what I love. They added some features to kind of bring the engagement back on Facebook because a lot of people are like, you know, selling out. But to bring the community back, engagement, engagement, engagement is so important. Any questions, guys? Did you guys find this helpful? Thank you, David. All right, let me close this out. You're welcome, Tammy. You're welcome, Tanya. Thank you, DJ. TJ. <laughs> All right, so I'll yield the mic if you guys don't have any questions. Yeah, a lot, a lot of interesting information. Yeah, we'll just writing here a lot of stuff. And and yeah, just for you guys to know, I was having a meetup with um, Rose and Jay. I think it was Monday, and we were just discussing right because this kind of meeting that we have here, just like a way for you know a starting point for building a community, and we we're just discussing like the same look and feel of Clubhouse, but with more visuals with screen, and um, yes, hopefully we're gonna give like a sense of community, and yeah. Rosa and Jay has been helping a lot with ideas for us to build something big. But sounds good, guys. Yeah, Rose, thank you very much. Like it was a lot of interesting, yeah, good information. And you know, I, I think you know your vision about um not about building a community, but raising the business using community as part of the strategy is like amazing. Yeah, thank you, Rose.